what is up guys you are watching and review station and today in this video we'll be seeing how to control your pc with your android phone if you are the person who connects your pc onto your tv and like watching movies and anime on your tv while controlling your pc and you don't want to go into that stuff of casting your screen to your pc so I will tell you the steps you need to just install a simple software that is called M O Monet as you are on monet.com scroll down and just click on this download button to download that software if you want to download it from here you can choose this or you can just hit the download button for downloading it right there so it will be in the rar file so extract it simple and it will have an installation file install it after installing it you may have your icon on your desktop that is this launch the software so simple let me just start it from scratch so this is how the software is simple go to the settings i'll suggest just choose this option don't use the option called allow any device to connect to this pc select this option it will be safe uh, need to provide the password below when a device wants to connect to your pc this is not the secure password in the world but it will do the thing so just create your password make sure you check all the settings that i have over here and just click on ok and also you need to have an app on your android of course to control your pc from android so you need to have that app so on your android mobile go to the play store on the play store just search for pc connect this is the first option over here look for app with this icon over here so after you have installed both of them i'll show you what features does it have and how it works how to connect it and control it easily so let's just put both of the screens side by side and see what things this app can do and just in case if you are wondering my mouse is working fine as you can see i'm recording my pc screen too mouse is working fine so don't worry guys it is fine so let's just put this screen of android mobile and my pc side by side so here we are guys here is the android screen and my monitor as you can see we are connected on the same wi-fi network so you need to have a wi-fi network and you need to be connected on the same network to use and control your pc with your android mobile so this is the app i launch it and then press on connect it will show you your pc name click on it type in your password that you have entered while on your pc then press on ok that will connect your mobile to your pc as you can see i'm controlling it right now it works like your windows precision trackpad if your laptop supports the windows precision trackpad it will show up the ads by the time as you are connected over wi-fi so in order to remove that just tap on the full screen icon over here and ads will go away and you can use your trackpad on the full screen this is the scroll bar you can use in such a way and this is the left click it works too if you haven't got that windows precision trackpad so as you can see it's working fine and this is the scroll button the middle button of the scroll of the mouse it works fine too you can use that too and then this is the right click this one works fine too and the windows precision trackpad works fine too if i double tap it gives me the right click as such so that is very good also i can scroll from it up and down and the right click i guess this is it for the trackpad so let's just go to the media section of this app here it is and it has all the media options over here as you can see it has the volume option i can mute my volume of my pc it works fine and i can control the volume up and down i can increase and decrease the volume through this progress bar or the scrolling thing so it works fine and this button must work for scrolling i guess so it works for the scrolling up and down page up and page down then we have got a pause button over here i can play or pause a video from this pause button so that is example for the volume it works fine and the mute works fine too as i'm playing a video and the scroll bar and let me just mute it the cool thing is you can also control your audio using your android mobile keys that is 
very awesome then comes the another tab called web here it is as you can see let me just focus it this is the another tab that i find very dope while you're browsing so it has all the options available that is your browsing on a browser it has a search button from which you can search and it has a home button from which you can go home as you can see i have opened up a incognito tab the favorite button does nothing i should have guessed that it brings up the bookmarks but it don't the back button works fine it takes me to previous page as you can see i have pressed it couple of times so all the way back to here so it is working fine and then comes the forward button it which will take me forward in my browsing history so as you can see both the buttons are working fine then comes the cross button or whatever you call it it stops loading the page if you click it if you use it very often so it is there and we have the search button by clicking on the keyboard icon you can bring up the keyboard also so let me just pause the video and bring back my keyboard but you need to take care of one thing in this keyboard that it doesn't type when you actually type whatever you want but you select this option in your suggestion of your keyboard then it all comes up easily so you can also type in such way and select the suggestion from the google so that is not very great but it has on screen keyboard too on the android mobile so you can use that too if you click on these three dots and go on to the keyboard section typewriter keys it will bring up the keyboard so let me just search something so backspace that works fine then google g o o and it shows up so i'll just press enter and that works fine too so that is good and let me just put it into the portrait to landscape mode which will look better and make typing easy so that is good you can use whole app in landscape too but i'll use it in portrait then comes the ppt tab or the presentation tab it has all the cool features in it to manage your slide show or the presentation so let me just open up a ppt here it is so it has all the useful buttons that you need to have while giving a presentation this is the cursor button that does nothing the pen button brings up the print page so that is not what is used for and this button too does nothing and this button also the play button maximize the or full screen up the ppt the next button brings up the next page of the ppt and then the then there is the previous button which brings up the previous page of the ppt so you can go back and forth the first and the end button brings up the first and the last ppt if you press stop playing button that restores your window to the normal size the next button is the three dot button we have already seen it for bringing up the keyboard but this time will bring up the numpad so the numpad has all the things that a normal numpad should have all the numbers so that is good the next feature we have in the three dot button is function keys so f1 to f12 we have got all the function keys and the additional keys page up page down or put your pc to sleep or the shutdown button so that is all good the next section we'll take a look at is power section as you might have guessed it has all those features that a power section should have sleep hibernate shutdown restart and many so as you can see i have logged my pc up and unlocked it too and the shut off display button which just shuts off your display so let me just try it up and then press okay 
so it just shuts off my display so i think this is it guys this is it for how to control your pc with your android mobile using monect app so if you find the information helpful you can hit the like button also subscribe to my channel if you find my channel worthy of subscribing i put videos on how to download stuff for free and also on ps4 jailbreak as you can see so you can subscribe too and lastly thanks for watching guys